but a stainless steel frying pan can and should be seasoned. Somewhere behind me, there's a fire pit. I'm gonna go find it, dig it out, get a fire going, a nice strong fire, and get started on how we're going to season a stainless steel frying pan. Let's go do this. If you're thinking to yourself, man, that's a lot of snow, you would be correct. That is a lot of snow. And today I'm going to do the seasoning of a frying pan, which you can do in your kitchen at home. But this is open air outdoors, so obviously I want to do it in an outdoor setting. Today is a beautiful day. Sun is shining. It's a little bit windy, but I'm sheltered by the forest. So I'm going to fast forward to a big fire, get you back on here, and we're going to start seasoning this stainless steel frying pan. Here's our frying pan. We put it right in the fire. Put that right in the coals we need that superheated and we also need cooking oil that's how we're going to season that now for those who are interested uh, that frying pan is uh, stanley it's a complete cook kit so what do we want here is to have that pan superheated and uh, superheated to the point where it's actually going to start turning a golden yellow in color and once that's uh it's in that color then we're going to apply some oil to it so let's be patient. I got my tea and now we wait and get that thing hot. Okay, we're ready. That frying pan is a nice golden yellow. Let me show you. back on there momentarily okay we got our cooking oil we want to throw our oil in there I'm gonna slosh it around and you can see how the oil is automatically getting superheated I can actually hear a little bit of crackling and you want that now ideally you want that oil to be smoking that's the temperature you're looking for so I'm gonna put it back on there I'm gonna continue oh there we go didn't take long hope the camera's picking it up oh that was snow it's really windy, the snow's falling off the trees. You can see just a small drop, it really goes a long ways. I'm gonna throw it back on there. Get it hot again. 
Now while we're doing this, let's discuss a little bit about the seasoning of a frying pan. Um, a lot of people don't actually know you can do this with stainless steel. It's pretty safe to say everybody's familiar with seasoning a uh, cast iron frying pan. And uh, you also season a carbon steel frying pan. But a stainless steel frying pan can and should be seasoned. Look at the color on the edging, all that golden color. That's what you want, that's what you're looking for. It's smoking already. I'm, I'm, they're continuously putting it on the fire, taking it out. I'm regulating the heat because I want it really hot, but I don't want it hot to the point where the oil will, will flash and uh, burn up. Things are excellent. Everything's working out really well here. What a day to be doing this, and what a day to be outside. Now, uh, once we're done seasoning this, I'm gonna discuss a little bit about the maintenance of it. Because the maintenance is very important. It's, it, it goes with the seasoning. Okay, I'm done seasoning for today, I believe. I may do it a couple more times. But now it's time to talk about how do you take care of this frying pan. And it really is simple. Just give it a wipe. You use it when you're done using it and it's still warm. Simply give it a wipe with a rag, a cloth, even a handful of moss, if it was summertime, I'd be grabbing a ch big chunk, big handful of moss, giving it a wipe, and that's it. If you have stuck on food particles, get a stick, fashion it into a bit of a scraping tool, scrape your hard stuck on food particles, give it another wipe, store it away, you're done. Do not take this frying pan and go down to the creek and grind it with sand and silt. Do not take this frying pan and stick it in the fire upside down and incinerate the food particles. These methods will just destroy the seasoning that you put into it. The more you use it, the more you season it, the better it's going to be. Same as a cast iron pan, same as a carbon steel pan. Everyone, it's been a joy being out here. I still have a tea to drink. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you want to see how I season a cast iron skillet using bacon grease, click on the card at the end of this video. It'll take you to a video where I did an unboxing of a cast iron skillet. Everyone, take care out there. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you on the next one.